me. I'm trying to see. See that you guys look. That's why I'm like, hoo, ha, hoo, ha, hoo, ha. Where do I stand? Hey, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Let me stop. Okay. So down below um, if you live in Georgia that's where I'm located at she's actually mobile as well so she will come to you um, this is the Kima I think the Kima deep wave or ocean wave or something um, so I will put this down below and it's crocheted in um, before I get into the dress like look at this look at God I mean look at God look and it's so full and it's so light like it's so pretty like, look at God. Look at God. Girl does some good work, honey. Girlfriend do some good work. Okay. So, guys, um, before I get into the dress and um, what the video is going to be about today, to do a little housekeeping, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell on so that when I post, you guys can get the latest and greatest from the kid. So, ha, to get into the video, um, this dress, well, this dress rather, this dress is actually from my Boohoo haul that I did, and I'll pop the information up here, either here, it'll pop up so that you guys can get the deets on this dress, and I have some other cute, like, dresses that I got from there. I mean, it's so cute. Um, this is a U.S., I want to say it's a 20 if I'm not mistaken, and it's just a slinky material. It comes all the way down to the floor. And if you all that back action with this hair, like whoa, like whoa, like whoa, like whoa, like whoa, like whoa. Like, whoa. But so yeah, so guys, I'm actually going to St. Croix next week. Um, so I was in my closet and I was first I was online, I was like, oh I gotta buy some more bathing suits. Then I realized. I have a ton of bathing suits here at my house. So, this is actually going to be a swimsuit edition. Yay! It's getting hot outside. It's time to get, I mean, this is the body. This is the body that the beach is going to get, honey. The body. This is what they're getting. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I decided to get, like, my bathing suits together. Um... I have a couple dresses that I've actually converted into cover-ups. Um, I also have some actual cover-ups and, cover and some actual like dusters. And you guys know I love a good duster, honey. And like shirts, things like that. So, um, guys, you know I do everything in color. Because I want to inspire you babes to wear color. To get into color, get into print. It's some one pieces in there. It's some two pieces in there. I just want to inspire you. So let's put these bathing suits on. Okay? Let's go. So, my flip flop. Sorry. Okay, so the first bathing suit is going to be this actual mishmash of bathing suits that I made. So, this is the cover up. Um, I actually got this cover up from Amazon. I've had it for a while. Um, here's the back of the cover up. It is see-through, very sheer, but it's so vibrant in color, color, colorful, sorry guys. Um, the top I actually purchased from Ashley Stewart, and the bottoms are actually from Forever 21. So, I like to, like, as we can see, mix and match things. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, perfect, or matchy, matchy all the time. You can make your own trend and your own like fashion piece and your own fashion statement. So to kind of dissect this a bit, um, 
I normally don't wear when they're short dusters. I'm not a fan of short dusters, um, or like especially when they're kimono style sleeves. Um, so I usually kind of wear it either off one shoulder or off both shoulders. I probably wear it like this just to give me like a little something while I'm talking or whatever. Um, but if I want to take it off, then of course, you know, take it off. Um, so this is the bathing suit. I love the bottoms because of the cutout. I love a good cutout, honey. Y'all know I love a good peekaboo surprise. So these are their high-waisted briefs from Forever 21. I believe these are a 3X. Um, here's the back, guys. The only thing about the back is that, is that it does not have that wide band support. So your little love chunks or whatever may have you, they will flop, flap, and fold, you know. Because, whatever. But if you find with it, baby, I love it. Because I definitely, you know, I love to have mine out. So, this is the full 360 of it, guys. So, if you are a babe that's not really into color, but you're trying to be, gray is a good starting point in my eyes. Because this is like a steel. So, it has that, like, that shiny, that kind of sheeny, shiny vibe to it. Um, but, yeah, other than that, that's really this bathing suit. And so... When I purchase my bathing suits also, guys, um, I just purchase on what I like and what I see. So if it's something that's on sale, I don't care if it's just the bottom. And then maybe the only the bottom is in my size. I will purchase just the bottom. And I will mix and match it with something else that will work. You don't always have to do pieces and pairs and matchy. Like, you don't always want to be match. You're not always, but... You get what I'm trying to say. If you want to live outside the box, baby, live outside the box. I'm telling you. Let me tell you something. I love this. This look. I wore this same get up one time last year. And I was not at my fullest potential as I am now. So let's get into this. So this is actually, guys, this is actually a dress. I'll step back in a minute. To give you guys the full 360 of it. As you can see it has the crazy high detail splits. This is actually. I got this from G Stage Love. Um, <clears throat> it's canary yellow. And it crisscrosses in the front. Where you can tie it up. Um, like so. And then it just drapes down. It's just a standard dress in the back. It's nothing too frilly about it. Um, however it is sleeveless. So these. what? Yeah these are like your sleeves. So to speak I guess. Um. To get into all of it in its glory, honey, 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 Lisha, honey, Lisha. That's the voice that's hot to braid in. But y'all see these splits. <laughs> How this was supposed to be just a regular dress, I don't know. Maybe it was a regular dress for a regular girl, but I'm not your regular type of woman. So, hey. So, I turned it into a cover-up. Um, for the beach or whatever. So this is the front of this dress. Brad likes it. So this is the front of the dress. Guys, this is the sides. Um, and this again is the back. So now that we got the dress out the way, I'll go ahead. Let me take this off. I will come back. And we can get into this sexy red little two-piece number under it. This is the red two-piece under it. Um, if you follow my Instagram and my fake, fake, Facebook like page, <laughs> ah! um, and again, I'll post all that information down below, you've seen this number. Um, I actually went to Miami, like, in February. It was so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I wore this down there. Um, so, yeah, I actually got this piece from Boohoo. I believe this is a 20 U.S. The entire set may have been like 15 or 20 bucks. Like, boo-hoo is not crazy expensive. But so, this is the, the brief, ladies. It is a high-waisted brief. Um, this is the side of it. And, can you see the front? Okay. This is the back detailing of it. These are the briefs. Uh, hopefully, they're not in my booty. But these are the back detailing of the briefs. Now, the top. Hold on, y'all. I'm not really a fan of the top. It is a halter top. And all you can do is tie it. There is no adjustable string here. 
So where it falls is where it falls. So keep that in mind, ladies. But it does have the adjustable top tie in the back. So it's a halter top. However, the only thing is these came with padding. This came with, rather, I'm sorry, this came with padding inside of it. And I actually removed the padding. Um, do keep this, in, I'm sorry, y'all, my hair is like weird. Um, do keep this in mind, though, ladies, when you do decide to wear this piece. If you are a top-heavy babe, this may not be, like, necessarily, like, the piece for you, possibly. Because you get under boob. So it's like slipping. So it's a constant. Now, if you're fine with it, baby, go for it. But there's no support. So wherever your breasts are, that's just how they are. Me personally, I am a 42 triple D um, in the top. So I'm constantly lifting and like, because I don't want like boob at the bottom. Like my boobs already ain't got a lot of support at all. So I need as much support as I can get. And so to be walking around and the boob is already slipping in the bottom, then it's this cut low. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to take on, okay? <clears throat> the next look, guys. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, if you recall my boohoo haul. Boohoo. Yeah. Boohoo haul that I just did. Um, I will post a link above the card to pop out. Um, well, I actually did a review on these pants, and I'm so glad I got them because they are actually exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so the pants, guys, they are extremely long. You guys probably can't. I'm trying to see so that you guys look. That's what I'm like. Who, ha, who, ha, who, ha. What do I stand? Hey, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Let me stop. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to see where you guys can see because they're like really long. Um, but I know when they walk, of course, when I walk, everything rises, so it'll be perfect. Um, but they are see-through. Just to get kind of close on the pants, you see the bottom. I'll get into that in a minute. These are, of course, see-through. But they are like that crep, I think you say crep, I think this, I'm asking y'all, like y'all gonna say, yeah, girl, that's why it is crap. Like y'all gonna respond now. But you get what I'm trying to say. Um, that material, I just wanted to do a look with this where it's just like a bathing suit top some cute where okay I'll be real with y'all let me tell you what the inspiration of these of this look came from with the pants exactly I knew this summer I was going to be going places and I'm a big girl and my thighs rub so I was like what kind of pant or what kind of bottom can I wear on top of my bathing suit at the beach where I ain't got to worry about chafing with my thighs. That's how this look became about. Because I want to still be able to be cute, take it off, put my bathing suit on. I mean, you know, have my bathing suit on, play around, get in the water a little bit. And then they're thin enough to where if I do put these on wet, they'll dry instantly. But I ain't got to worry about the scrubbing and the chafing of my thighs. That's how this that's how this thought was born. <laughs> so let's get into this bathing suit. Mm, mm. I know, right? It's cute, I know, right? Eee. Okay, guys. <laughs> so to get into the bathing suit under the paints. Under the paints. Okay. So to get into the bathing suit, guys. Um, this is another bathing suit where I like mix and matched brands. So the top, if I'm not mistaken, I got this from Forever 21. I've had it for a while. Whenever Forever 21 has a sale where it's 50% off of the already um, clearance, I like buy stuff. So I actually bought this top. This has probably been about two or three years now. Sorry, ladies. This is just to kind of give you guys an idea now. Don't, don't cut my head off. I'm so sorry, ladies. Um, but this is only like four or five bucks. Sorry. The bottoms, however, I got from Rev Dolls and the card will pop out because I actually did a review. I purchased like some cute pants, um, some other swimsuit bottoms from them. So I knew when I seen this green, this like a shocking neon green, I was like, I got the perfect top for that. And it's this, it's actually, I don't know if it's reading on camera. Ooh, the wind is blowing, honey. Come on, wind. Yes, go. I push through, Lord, because I'm hot. So, this is 
like a like a, a, a deep violet actually top um, and of course the shocking green neon green kind of swimsuit bottom um, from Reb Dolls. Ladies, this is a 3X. Um, it's quite comfortable. Um, it's a high-waisted brief, nothing too major. This is the side view. Let me step back so of course I can give y'all the back view. Hopefully I ain't got no wet without the bike. This is the back view, guys. Um, this is also the back view of the top. It is a halter neck, so it ties at the nape of your neck. I like this because even though it does not have the um, adjustable clasp, it has a wide back. I love a good wide back bathing suit. So, another side view and the front. Now, the cool thing about this bathing suit is that with the top, you see how it's like it looks like a regular bandeau top? It has this on the side for support. So if Forever 21 ever brings this back, which I think they do because they normally bring it back every season, I advise all ladies to stock up on it because this ties behind the neck and it supports the girls. So it works as a adjustable clasp, if you will. So yeah, that's this top, ladies. I mean, I, I like this. I, I can't wait to get into this, honey, because... <laughs> honey, listen. <laughs> so... It's time to get into our one pieces. Now, I'm just my machine gun jibbless. <laughs> okay, so this one piece is actually from Boohoo. Um, this, I like the print and I like this like crisscross strappy detail right here. However, it is not adjustable, guys. <sighs> I have a hard time with this one piece and here's why. The arm part back here it's like it pulls it forward so i feel like this is constantly going to fall off my shoulders but this way not this way if that makes sense like i feel like i'm constantly like having to adjust in this bathing suit but i do like this bathing suit i didn't wear it as much last year um i think this is like an 18 us so i'll put everything down below but this year i want to utilize this bathing suit because I feel like I slept on it. So, um, this is the bag. It does have a deeper plunge, which um, Boohoo is good for like one pieces with kind of deeper plunges in the bag just to give you that little oof. And I like that a lot. Um, I like the little deeper plunge, but it's still like it's secure at the top. Um, this is actually, sorry y'all, something with my arm. This is actually hair. This is actually a mild plunge compared to some of their other plunges. So this is the side, you guys. And again, we're back to the front. Again, this is not one of my most favorite pieces from Boohoo. But I do like this piece. Don't get it wrong. Um, I felt like, again, I slept on a piece last year. So I'm going to bring it out, kind of see how I can jumpstart it again this year and just make it kind of like my own, so to speak. Um, but yeah, so that's this piece. Now, there are no pads with this, so you do have to kind of lift this up, um, guys. So, do keep that in mind for yourself as well, okay? So, this is the next kind of combo I threw together. Now, both pieces actually do come from Boohoo, the top as well as the bathing suit. Um, the top is actually a fishnet shirt, as you can see. This is their 18 US, if I'm not mistaken, or 20 US. Um, it's actually just a shirt that I literally pair with everything. Got everything. Everything. Everything I pair this with. Um, so, and it's like not like a flimsy fishnet. Like this is like double mesh fishnet. So to get it kind of to the cover up, or the shirt rather, because, yeah. So, it's actually pretty long on me. I'm 5'3". So, this is where it comes in the front. This is the side. And then it has, I love it because the back, the back sorry guys, it's actually a lot lower than, so that you guys can see, yeah. It actually comes like here to me, which is very surprising because usually shirts come like here to me or like here. So, this is actually covering like my whole... For the most part, but uh, so it's actually very long. It's actually longer in the back than in the front, and that's what I really love about this shirt. 
If I want to make it short, I can tie it, make it into a little fishnet crop top. So, now we got that out the way. Let's get into this bathing suit, which is one of my favorite bathing suits from Boohoo. I love this bathing suit. Sorry, I was drinking something. I love this bathing suit. Now, guys, this bathing suit is actually a 18. I think it's an 18, not a 20. But again, I'll link it down below. Um, from Boohoo. I got this little number last year. And let me tell you something. I'm not normally a one-piece bathing suit type of gal. Okay. But this mamma jamma right. Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna get a little close. So, of course, you see the palm trees. It's like a fuchsia and a deep plum, almost going into like a blue kind of vibe, guys. It has this right here, so it is a deep plunge. The only thing about this bathing suit is that the straps are not adjustable, so you gotta watch your girls, okay? Your girls can either sit down here where it's bigger or kind of up here in this area right here. Um, so give you a full twirl, honey, because you know I love the twirl, honey. Twirl. So this is the side. This is the back of it. As you see, it's not adjustable. But I do love how the straps are like almost suspender style in the back, if you will. Um, the other side. And we're back to the front. Alright, there's some face some honey. Listen. You will definitely be seeing this a lot. If I don't, if I don't flash y'all first, you're going to be seeing a lot of this. So when you see this, just know this ain't the type of bathing suit where you finna be playing. Okay? So this is the type of bathing suit you take pictures and you sit down somewhere. I'm telling y'all now, because if you get somewhere, like to the ocean or whatever, to the beach, and your machine gun jump is fall out, don't say Sheena didn't warn you. I'm just, I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling y'all now. Okay, if it's going to be guys, they're going to be picking you up and playing and stuff, you're going to flash the entire pool. Don't say I didn't warn you, I'm just saying. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. So guys, now that we are done, I feel like my lashes falling off, y'all. But so now that we are done, um, let's go ahead and end this thing. So guys, hopefully you liked all the uh, bathing suits and everything that I had to show you. You like my summer looks. Um, for bathing suit wise, I will be adding more to the collection because now I am obsessed with bathing suits and cover-ups and all that good jazz. So, um, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn that notification bell on so that you can get the latest and greatest for what's going on with me. Also, guys, shop my Poshmark closet because a lot of pieces I post on my Poshmark, you can actually purchase them for like next to nothing really. I mean, I have stuff not marked down to like five and six dollars, like legit for real. It's like stuff I'm trying to move. Like I want to get paid for it, so I'm trying to move it. Um, also, guys, check out my blog page. I will be updating it this week, so definitely get on there, see what you like, give me your feedback on it. Um, ladies, if you have any other boutiques that you have in mind that you want me to kind of shop at for the spring or summer, kind of get my opinion on, want me to do some try-ons, whatever, definitely don't hesitate to drop me a line in my inbox, um, or email me because I have that information below. And until next time, Sheen Nation.